it is Freddie Mercury, the Michaela Bruin San Diego. It's a milkshake IPA. Actually, it's not. New England style Imperial Pale. It said it was a Bruin milkshake IPA. Anyway, this is Freddie Mercury. And this was £15.50 a can. Just absorb that. £15.50 a can. So that's 15 quid a pint. You're talking Norway prices there. Nice design on the can. Freddy, looking like a. Um, he looks like a bloody. Them bullfighters. Right, anyway, so we're going to open it. <laughs> Don't want to open it. Here we go. So. I've opened, it, I've opened a 15 pound can of beer. Just put that there. So I'm going to pour this. I don't know what to make of it like. So I'll pour this into the glass. It's a bit flat, isn't it? It's just flat as a pancake. Funny colour, looks like a um, murky. Oh, it's got a bloody, it's got a, a strange, uh, it's like earthy. I don't know, it's a bit of fruit, get a bit of fruit in it, but sort of like mango ish sort of fruit. But it's, I can't believe it's flat as a fart. What the hell's wrong with that? It should be at least a a finger head on So, it's New Year, well it's New Year's Eve, and I've been saving this one, this can here, I've been saving this for a special occasion, such as New Year's Eve, and it is Freddie Mercury, the Michaela Bruin San Diego, it's a milkshake IPA, actually it's not, New England style Imperial Pale Ale. It said it was a blooming milkshake IP. Anyway, so it's Freddie Mercury. And this was £15.50 a can. Just absorb that. £15.50 a can. So that's 15 quid a pint. You're talking Norway prices there. Nice design on the can. Freddie, looking like a. Um, he looks like a bloody. Them bullfighters. Right, anyway, so we're going to open it. <laughs> Don't want to open it. Here we go. So. Oh, I've, opened it. I've opened a 15 pound can of beer. Just put that there. And so, we're going to pour this in the craft beer glass. Here it goes. It's better be good, mind. It's not like I can take it back, is it? Right, have a little bit of a head on it. So, it's a bit of a weak head, maybe that's the way I've poured it, but it's a small head, half half a finger. So you clean the glass really, it's a bit dirty. Oh, dear me. Oh, you can tell that's thick. Right. Well. It's got 
quite a bit of um, a dank fruit sort of taste, sniff to it. You've got orange peel, you know, the pith. I'm taking the pith. Yeah. Stone fruit. That's very fruity. You can actually smell the 9% alcohol. You know you're not meant to really get the alcohol in them, but that, that does smell alcoholic, man. Oh, that's enough of that. Apricot as well in there. I'll right, have a drink. I'll have a little drink. Socks off. Nine percent, man. It's fruity. Oh, it's really. Oh, that catches the back of your throat. That one. That's a strong beer. That. That's a strong fruit. Um, orange stone fruit. It's got a nice mouthfeel. It feels lovely in your mouth. Mmm. You can taste the quality when you drink that. It's not like a sharp beer or a wet beer, you know what I mean? It's like a, it's got a nice, like a velvet taste to it. It's thick, but it's not, if you know what I mean. Yeah. I don't think it's worth £15 though, but that is a very nice beer. So. I'm going to finish this off and then it'll be, it's quarter to 11 now, so I'm going to finish this off and then it'll be about uh, half 11, I'll keep it going for a while and just want to say Happy New Year to everybody and uh, we'll see you all in the new year with some more beer reviews, a <laughs> little bit of wild camping thrown in and cycling, trips away, all sorts of crap. Right, so everybody have a good new year. Dip and D the horns. Mm -hmm.